I absolutely love the Scream franchise, but recently we've hit a big bump in the road when it comes to Scream 7. Before I get into today's video, please know that this video will tackle a pretty sensitive issue regarding one of the decisions that Spyglass Media Group made regarding the film. Regardless of your views on the decision, please understand this is my opinion. My intent is not to start an argument around it. This is just a video discussing a bleak future for one of my favorite franchises. Also, obviously this video will contain spoilers for the Scream franchise as a whole. With that said, let's do a quick deep dive seeing how we got here today. Hi, this is Gail Weathers with an exclusive eyewitness account of this amazing breaking story. Scream released in theaters and captivated horror fans everywhere. It was cleverly written, had fantastic performances, memorable characters and kills, with the icing on the cake being the twist involving its killers. Scream 2 was released a year later, and the charm still remained as it satirized the cliches of sequels and provided a great twist yet again. Scream 3 was released three years later, and while some consider it the weakest of the franchise, it's still a very entertaining film that fans love despite the high emphasis on comedy and reduced amount of horror. Then, the franchise would take a break for 11 years before returning with Scream 4 and won the audience over yet again. The film made fun of the cliché elements in remakes, while also commentating on the obsession of social media and internet fame. After handing over the franchise to Spyglass Media Group and filming it against a pandemic, Scream 5 would finally hit theaters another 11 years later as it made fun of requels, legacy characters, and obsessive horror fans. Then, a year later, Scream 6 dropped in theaters as it took a stab at reinventing their usual formula and providing us with a main character that struggles not to be even a bigger monster than our killer. The film seemed to bring in an even bigger crowd to the franchise thanks in part to teens connecting to the characters, and after the success of Wednesday in 2022, they would watch damn near anything with Jenna Ortega. And now, we've arrived at the present day. Scream 7 was set to release this year, and the possibility of that seems to be getting slimmer and slimmer. Let's take a look at what the problems are here. Surprise, Sydney. What the fuck? In Scream 6, you'll remember in a scene where Gail tells Samantha and Tara that Sydney sends her love, but is taking her husband and kids somewhere safe till the recent Ghostface situation is all over. If you don't know why Nev Campbell didn't return to Sydney Prescott, it's actually due to Paramount not paying her what she thought she was owed for being in the franchise for so long. I've got to agree with her here, as Sydney Prescott is arguably one of the most famous final girls and horror protagonists in general. It's ridiculous that in a franchise so beloved by fans, Paramount wouldn't be willing to show one of their strongest assets how much they appreciate the 27 years of dedication she's put into this. Little did we know, this was the calm before the storm. <laughs> Movie. In November 2023, it was announced that Spyglass Media Group had fired actress Melissa Barrera from Scream 7 due to posts concerning the war between Israel and Hamas. Their statement reads, Spyglass's stance is unequivocally clear. We have zero tolerance for anti-Semitism or the incitement of hate in any form, including false references to genocide, ethnic cleansing, Holocaust distortion, or anything that flagrantly crosses the line into hate speech. All I'll say to this is that Melissa Barrera was not making up lies or trying to cause any drama. She was shedding light on an important issue, and in response to that, she was fired due to speaking freely about something bothering her, as well as many others. Despite this firing, Barrera has kept her head up and insisted her love for her cast members and fans of the franchise. She's not turning her back on the horror genre either, as she's starring in Abigail set to hit theaters in April of this year. This was a heavy blow to Scream fans as Barrera played Samantha Carpenter, the main protagonist of the previous two installments, who I, as many others, found to be a very fascinating character. This was, however, not the only blow us fans would take. Only a few days after Barrera's firing from Scream 7, actress Jenna Ortega confirmed her exit from the film as well, with the studio's reasoning being scheduling conflicts. This has been heavily implied by sources, but I personally can't quite buy it. Melissa Barrera and Jenna Ortega shared a strong bond on the set of Scream 5 and 6, forming quite the sisterly connection considering their characters being sisters. 
Jenna Ortega was of course filming Beetlejuice 2 and is set to film Season 2 of Wednesday this April, so scheduling conflicts may have had a part to play in this, but I truly believe Jenna saw Melissa's exit as the perfect opportunity to exit the film now. Melissa shared her love for Jenna in an interview, saying she would show up for me and I would show up for her no matter what, which shows a strong sense of solidarity between the two. So currently, both lead characters, Samantha and Tara Carpenter, will be absent from Scream 7, despite the previous two films making no hint of their story being over. Losing Jenna Ortega will likely be the biggest thing that sinks this film due to her large fan base and a large amount of that fan base being a new generation of lovers of the Scream franchise. It's no secret that her performance as Wednesday Adams has currently elevated Ortega as one of the most sought after actresses in the industry, but it seems as though Christopher Landon would have a hell of a time making this film with her and Barrera being gone. A director said. A direct. Upon Melissa Barrera's firing from the film, Director Christopher Landon was very hurt by the news as he tweeted out a statement following it. Then after being hit with yet another headline regarding Jenna Ortega's exit from the film, Christopher Landon threw his hands up and abandoned the project. I can't say I blame him after losing the two characters we were led to believe would build this franchise into something that would last for years to come. He even went as far to say directing the film was a dream that turned into a nightmare. Now, this nightmare of a project has lost both its leads and its director. What more could happen? I've been feeling woozy, all right? I can't take any more. I'm feeling woozy, yeah. I've been feeling woozy, all right? I can't take any more. I'm feeling woozy, yeah. In Scream 6, Samantha and Tara have left Woodsboro along with their friends Chad and Mindy Meeks, and they make up the fun group titled The Core Four. Well, it seems like the core four will be no more, and it's not only due to Barrera and Ortega being gone. Jasmine Savoy Brown, who played Mindy, reveals that she hasn't gotten a call for Scream 7, and says, if you want to ask Spyglass what they're doing, you can. So as of now, it looks like neither Samantha, Tara, or Mindy will be in Scream 7, so it's pretty evident that we can conclude that Mason Gooding won't be returning as Chad either. It would not only be weird for Chad to be there without his sister Mindy, but it would feel strange to have Chad there without Tara either after their relationship just began near the end of Scream 6. In addition to that, Hayden Penetier, who played Kirby Reed in Scream 4 and 6, recently came forward with her opinion on Melissa Barrera's firing, calling it very unfair and upsetting. It was never confirmed nor denied whether or not Kirby would return in Scream 7, but it's looking less likely as of now. I can't speak on Courtney Cox's return as Gail Weathers for Scream 7 as nothing has been confirmed yet, but if she does return, she could be one of the only hopes this film has of satisfying fans. The other hope would be if the possibility that Nev Campbell and Patrick Dempsey would be returning as Sidney Prescott and Mark Kincaid respectively. Neither one of them have had negotiations for the film yet, so there's not much to say for now. Really call the police? You're sorry, Isaac. My mom and dad are to wrap things up, Scream 7 is in development hell right now, and it'll need a massive creative overhaul to salvage what's left of it. As of right now, there is no director, no lead actors, and only a handful of characters that could potentially be returning. I love this franchise so much, but I'd personally rather we let this film breathe for a while and come back when the development is at a better state. As of right now, it is not looking good, and it's sad considering the Scream franchise has been such a consistently great franchise in my opinion, with none of their films being bad. I'm also not too keen on Spyglass's ownership of the franchise anymore. It's too early to tell, but Scream 7 is shaping up to be a colossal disaster. So, let me know what you think of this whole situation. I love these movies, and I'm sure there's a lot of you that are very passionate about them as well, so sound off in the comments. Tell me what you're hoping for in Scream 7 and what you think the future of the franchise looks like. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and goodbye.